सो वेलकम बैक गाइज टू दिस चैनल दिस इज हेमंग सरोलिया एंड वेलकम टू क्लिंस द डायग्नोसिस एंड टूडे वी आर हेयर नॉट टू डिस्कस एनी कॉन्सेप्ट और समथिंग बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी आर वी आर डिस्कशन ऑन द मोस्ट एफिशियंट वे to read mbbs and it's not only me who's going to discuss with you but we have a guest on our channel and it's himang suroli with us who's going to be the guest so mm-hmm. kind of looks similar to me i i, I feel he looks similar to me uh, you all are the audience you can see both of us at the same time so please do let me know if he looks similar to me and uh, yes so let us go ahead with our discussion on the best ways to read in mbbs to get the maximum mm-hmm. results in terms of marks maybe but also more focus will be on in terms of understanding So yes, Hemang Surolia. So let's begin with the discussion. So uh, thank you so much, Hemang, for having me here. It's an honor for me that you have invited me on this channel to share my views on how to read efficiently in MBBS. So yes, let us uh, begin. Hmm. So let us know from Hemang which are the most efficient ways. So Hemang, let us hmm. know our audience and we'll discuss with our audience which are the most efficient ways of uh, studying hmm. throughout your MBBS. Since uh, you have just done with your final year MBBS exams, hmm. I think it would be a, it would make sense to discuss this topic with you. And uh, hmm. so, what do you think is uh, uh, the correct way of hmm. studying in MBBS? Yeah. So uh, starting with the topic, I would uh, the first point I would like to tell is to. actually understand whatever you read so uh, like suppose you are reading a topic and uh, the correct meaning should be understood of whatever is written in the book or whatever the lecturer is teaching you there might be differences in understanding the concept between two students so the first thing should be to understand the right thing yes the understanding the right concept yes yes i i completely understand what you mean to say so you mean to say is like there are two students who are reading the same thing so you mean to say is that one might understand the correct uh, one might understand the topic in the correct sense and other might not understand it in the correct sense or might not understand it at all so yeah there is a difference when two people are reading the same thing and they are taking different concepts from the same book so yes understanding the correct thing by reading is uh, one of the best ways to one of the ways to read in the mbbs and how do you know if you are developing the correct understanding of the topic is you can discuss it with your other friends who you think are smarter than you and you have understood the right um, concept and you can discuss it with your seniors you can discuss it with your teachers and uh, in your postings so yes that is one of our points to understand the correct concept yes so my next point would be to actually practically see whatever you are reading Yes. So, if you're a first-year student, you see the artery, see the vein, see the nerve, see the muscle, see the fascia, see the organ, see the joint, see the bones. Just see everything. Uh, the more you see, the more you remember. And even if you're a final year student, go attend the postings and see the patients and elicit the findings as much as you can because whatever you see is the most you remember. So, yes. So, second point would be to see, practically see. And if there are some topics which you know. you might not get to see in your postings or you might not get to see in your dissection hall or something so you actually go and search uh, for the topic on youtube and watch the videos so even that in that thing you are actually seeing it so rather than just reading for example if you consider a topic called uh, extra pyramidal movements where you can have ethetosis and you can have hem- hemibalismus you can have chorea so if you will read from the book you will actually only understand whatever is written in the book and you will not form a visual memory of it go on youtube find all the types of movement see the types of movement i still remember uh, when i was studying for my final year mbbs so i was studying this disease called wilson disease and it had this tremors called specific tremors in wilson's are what you call wing beating tremors i still remember uh, i went on youtube and searched for it there was a guy in a maroon shirt a maroon shirt patient and he was asked to do this and when he did this it his hand started tremoring this way so yes the more you see the more you remember is what i mean to say by this point mhm yes yes this this makes sense uh, i still remember in my uh, first year days when we were in the dissection hall and i remember our teacher teaching us uh, showing us the carotid artery which was dividing into internal and external carotid and then external carotid we were uh, tracing the superior thyroid branch of the external carotid i still remember the i have a visual memory of it so maybe i forget it if i read from the book but since i've seen it from my own eyes i still remember how the carotid artery was dividing and was giving its branches so yes it makes sense to practically see whatever you read 
so our second point is to practically see whatever we read so uh, next point would be to discuss what you read so uh, the most you remember after your visual memory is i think is by discussing the topic with your friends so be in a group where you think people uh, usually please prefer to be in a group where others are smarter than you so you can actually discuss with them and you can get the correct understanding of the topic and discussion helps you remembering a lot in my personal experience i have experienced yes the more i have discussed with people the more i have remembered the content so uh, yes i would uh, say that discuss discussion of whatever you have read it is a great way of remembering whatever you have read exactly 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 i i i still remember during my uh, preparation for final exams we used to study in the okay. library and we used to take breaks after 2 to 3 hours uh, four to five group of friends and we used to discuss amongst each other and i it it actually helps it actually imprints that thing in your mind and you remember it for a long long time so uh, in my experience throughout my mbbs uh, i have uh, discovered that if you actually discuss whatever you read the more you discuss the more you remember and you also get understanding of maybe you have understood something wrong so if you discuss it with someone you get the correct understanding of it so discussion forms a great great role in remembering whatever you are reading so yes our third point is to discuss whatever you read so uh, the last point i would like to say about uh, this is to revise whatever you read and there are various ways of revision not necessarily meaning that you will just have to read this topic again and again discussion forms a part of revision and you can actively recall whatever you have read so i would prefer to actively recall what i have read rather than you know again reading it and some part of it obviously i would not be able to recall so i'll go home and whenever i am reading again i'll go through it in a more uh attentive way i'll be more attentive towards what i could not recollect so actively recalling you know is uh, when you recruit your memory it actually goes into your long term memory so rather than reading the topic passively again and again just actively recall it and you'll find the results so suppose there are two students and one is reading the topic one has read it once and is again reading it passively and the other who has read it once and is actively recalling it so both would be have uh, maybe the one who is actively recalling it would retain it for a longer time compared to the one who has read the topic again and again passively so please don't make this a habit of that making uh, reading this uh, notes again and again it's actually of no use so you reading it six times or reading it five times you reading it three times it doesn't may actually make a difference so focus on actively recalling whatever you have read and uh, yes so you can study your own uh, you can choose your own style of revising even discussion is a way of revising even actively recalling is a way of revising reading it again is also a way of revising so choose your best i would uh, prefer actively recalling it rather than reading it again and again three or four times yes yes uh, mm-hmm. completely makes sense yeah so our last point is to revise whatever you re- you read and uh, Himang has told us about the various ways of revising a topic, and it necessarily need not be you know just reading it again and again. So there are various ways to revise, uh, revise, and uh, you find the most efficient way for you and go ahead with it. So thank you so much, Himang, for giving us your valuable time. I know you were not very busy, uh, but it's my job to thank you. And uh, the audience very well knows we are the same person, so let's just stop acting and ask for a like. <laughs> yeah, surely, surely, yes, yes, as a YouTuber. So yes. So guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to this channel for more such content, and we'll be more than happy to bring more such content for you. See you in the next video. Thank you.